Hiya, my name's Violet Blaze. Welcome to Beauty by Blaze. Now, today I'm gonna to be showing you some showgirl realness. I'm gonna be showing you how to go from this to this. Now for those of you who don't know, I am actually a burlesque performer, so whenever I'm on stage, I am all about the glitz, the glam, I need my face to be beat and ready. So I'm gonna be showing you how I do just that, and hopefully you'll be able to pick up some really cool tips along the way. So most people will tend to do their foundation first, I love to do my eye makeup first, just because then it's out of the way, I don't get any fallout onto my cheeks or anything, because it's already all been done, I don't mess up my foundation or anything like that. I just think that your eyes, they just frame your face, so you've got to get those out of the way first and foremost. Now before I do anything at all on my face, I need to make sure that it's been moisturized and it's been primed. So I like to use our Uplift Beauty Serum. It comes in this gorgeous little bottle, and it's got a cute little pipette here, so you literally just need just a couple of drops onto your face, and that will just help to moisturize and just rejuvenate your skin. So my face has just been washed nice and freshly and this is literally just going to give it a bit of life there you go look better already next what I'm going to be doing is taking our glorious primer this stuff I absolutely swear by I cannot live without the glorious primer like, I don't know what I was doing before primer, but <laughs> apparently I was doing it wrong. So you literally just need just like a pea-sized amount, and then that's going to just go over the whole of your face. Now what a primer does, is it basically, it creates like a blank canvas for your face. It's, um, it's a product what you put on when you want your makeup to last a long time. So basically all the time, you need to be using primer. It really helps you get the most out of your makeup. Everything just stays in place. It feels ever so silky smooth. And I love doing this step now because then it's got time to sort of seep into the skin rather than applying it and then straight away putting a foundation on top because it is an oil-based primer. So obviously you don't want your foundation to go slipping and sliding everywhere. So this way, by doing my eye makeup first, I'm giving the primer a chance to just seep in and just get straight to it. Next, I like to do my brows, and I'm gonna be using one of our eyeliners to do this. This shade is called Proper. It's a really deep, dark brown. And I'm gonna just overdraw my brows. So I'm following the natural curve that I already have, but I am going just above my hairs as well. Just because when you're going on stage, you are painting for the back row, so you wanna make sure that they can see all of your expressions. I'm just filling it in just like that and just drawing the rest of the shape on. Even if you make little mistakes here, it's absolutely fine because you're going to be cleaning it up anyway with some concealer. I'll show you that trick in just a moment. And remember guys, your eyebrows are sisters, not twins, so if they're not exactly symmetrical, it's okay. The world is not going to end, you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of roughly where I want my brows to be. Next, what I'm going to be doing is taking the liner shader brush. I'm going to be using the liner side, and I'm going to use a touch of concealer, which is about possibly three shades lighter than my actual skin tone and I'm gonna highlight underneath my brows. Now I'm using such a light one, again, because I'm on stage, everything is exaggerated when you're going on stage. You're not doing your day-to-day -day just running down to Tesco makeup, you want it to look extra. So I'm just gonna take the liner side, I'm just gonna line underneath the brow. So you wanna just raise your brows up so you can get a nice arch there. Line underneath. Bring the concealer down. And then I'll blend it out with my finger. I also tend to put some just here as well. And if you want to, you can go ahead and put a little bit around, um, around the top part as well. But I tend to just go just underneath. 
and just here at the front. Next what I'm going to do, I'm going to take our pressed powder in the matching shade to this concealer and I'm going to just set it in place just to stop it from moving around too much. And now it's time to do the eyes. Now, before anything goes on my eyes, eye primer. I do not do anything to my eyes without putting this stuff on first. This is what's gonna keep my eye makeup in place completely. I absolutely love this stuff. The same way that I love the face primer is the same way that I love the eye primer. It's just good stuff. So you literally need just a teeny tiny drop. That's probably a bit too much. Just a tiny drop onto your finger and just pat it onto your eyes and it just completely blends out as I said that was probably too much that I put on you really need hardly any at all next I'm going to take our splurge cream shadows now these are absolutely perfect for going on stage because they're lovely and sparkly and they just catch the light beautifully the shade that I'm going to go for first is called extravagant it's a beautiful yellow gold I'm just going to use the cream shadow brush. It really is best to use a cream shadow brush when you're applying this. It, it, it's just a game changer for me. It's a nice little flat brush like that. And I'm gonna just pat some onto my eye. You can see it's incredibly pigmented. It's really, really bright. The second colour that I'm going to take is called Majestic. This is my favourite for obvious reasons. It's the most gorgeous, beautiful purple I've ever seen in my entire life. It's just, oh, it's just absolutely stunning. So I'm going to use some of that. It's going to be my second colour. Next I'm going to take my favourite palette of them all, it's palette number 5 and you can tell this is my favourite because I have used this thing so, so much. The colours in this are super duper vibrant, I absolutely love them. I'm going to take Victorious here on the end, it's that gorgeous fuchsia pink and I'm going to just, just go just here above the purple, like so. And then I'm going to go and use Vintage. This is a very nice sort of two-tone orangey red. And that's just going to come right the way down here. And blend those two together. Next I'm going to take the really super duper bright gold from palette number five. And I'm going to use that as a very bold highlight just underneath my brow bone here. Then I'm gonna take Suspicious, which is this color here. It's kind of like a sort of bronzy shade. And I'm gonna use that just here at the beginning of the brow. And just to fill in this area just here. It's kind of like a shimmery nude for me. So you can just use your equivalent. And next, I just blend. So now your next step is liner and lashes. Now you can do your liner however you wish to. I, I do like to give myself a bit of a wing. Um, sometimes I do a little wing, sometimes I do a big wing. So today I'm gonna go for quite a big wing. Um, in terms of teaching you how to do winged liner, I don't know if I can actually do that. I mean, it really is just trial and error, but I can only show you what I do. So I just use just like a normal liner and I just use my little finger to rest on my cheeks like this. I start in the middle and I'm always sort of looking down as well. I have my mirror here, I'm looking down. I start in the middle. And I go out to here. And then I just draw a line from here 
out as far as I want the wing to go. So I'm taking it all the way out here today. Then I just connect it up. Fill it in. Right into the inner corner. And then I celebrate because it's not all the time that it goes that great. <laughs> Actually, that could do with just a little bit more evening out. Just a bit. Oh, another tip as well is that I try I try to just to keep my eyes down for a little while just to give it a chance to properly dry but yeah that looks a bit better to me we can celebrate now <laughs> okay now that both my eyes have been lined and I pop some mascara on just to add a little bit more intensity I'm gonna go just here on this uh, outer corner and I'm gonna take this color triumphant this is from palette number four and I, I just want to add a little bit of a uh, bit of deep darkness here, just a tad. Okay, so I'm going to be applying my lashes later. I'll probably do them right at the end, actually. Um, so now what I'm going to do is do the rest of my face. So I love to use our BB Flawless. It's just amazing. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. It's basically a BB cream, which is a tinted moisturizer. And when you use it on its own, it just sort of like enhances your complexion it's called a complexion enhancer it just sort of smooths everything out and makes your tone look really nice and even when you mix it with the concealer girl girl <laughs> you get a super duper flawless coverage and I'm going to show you exactly what I do so I like to just squeeze a bit of it out onto the back of my hand you really don't need much of it at all and then I'm going to mix in the skin perfecting concealer which is hands down my favorite product ever. Absolutely love it. And I'm just gonna mix them together, find my uh, concealer brush, there we are. Mix them up together on the back of my hand. I like to do it on my, on my hand just because then it sort of warms up the product. So uh, now that's all nicely mixed, it just thickens it ever so slightly. And then I like to just use a stippling brush for this. Some bit on my hair there, <laughs> and I just stipple it on and blend. It's really important to make sure that you also get your neck as well because you want to make sure everything all blends in together nicely. You don't want like a direct sort of line between your face and your neck, you want it all to just blend in even go down to your chest as well if you want to no don't worry I haven't just suddenly joined the cast of the Lion King okay we're gonna start doing our highlight so what I like to do is take the same color concealer that I used underneath my brow which is about two to three shades lighter than my skin tone take that you want to put two triangles underneath your eyes here go down the bridge of your nose draw a little chicken foot there on your forehead a little bit on your chin and if you want to then you could do some just here underneath your uh, cheekbones take a damp blending bud and blend upwards towards your eyes this is what's going to really make your eye makeup stand out so definitely don't skip this step this looks really really weird now and it probably looks worse than it did before but trust me when I say it, it needs to get ugly before it gets pretty okay so just bear with me so next what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take our behold translucent setting powder and I'm gonna just set just underneath my eyes here in particular because this is where a lot of creasing can happen so I like to take a dry blending bud for this and just literally just press it on 
I know you're probably thinking, girl, that color is way too light. Don't worry because I do warm this up with the powder that matches this shade. That's an optional thing. I just do that because I am quite, quite dark skinned and I like to have a warmer tone underneath my eyes. So that's just an optional extra. I like to use a dry blending bud because I can just get right into the crease rather than using a brush. There we go, so that would just set that there. Some people like to put loads of it on there then they just leave it there to just sort of bake in and everything. I mean, I do that sometimes when I've got time but when I'm in a bit of a rush, just a quick dab of it will do. And then I just take the matching powder and I just set the rest of it. you are completely and utterly done <laughs> I'm joking okay so once that's all been set then I just draw on my contour with some concealer this is the darker shade of concealer that we do it's called Georgette and once again I just take a damp blending bud and I just blend that out and then I set that and then I set the whole face all with pressed powder I love our pressed powder for me that is where all the magic happens I know it looks wrong now but you just wait it's gonna look great that this is looking a lot better than it did just like two seconds ago. So next what you want to do is apply your blush. So I'm going to go for a nice deep red. This one is called Scandalous. This is usually my sort of go-to uh, stage blush. And it's just, good. it's just going to just warm up my face. So I do put a fair amount on. I put a touch just on the end of my nose as well. Just because I saw some drag queen do it and I thought it looked cute. Um, a little bit here on my hairline as well because I tend to wear coloured hair so it just sort of goes well with it I find. I love me some highlight. <laughs> can you tell? I absolutely love it. You can never have too much for stage. Don't worry I'm going to blend that in. Um, <laughs> So you want to just go down the bridge of your nose like that and on the high points of your face I love using this brush this is our special fan brush that we specially released with our cute little Allo Mode highlighters highlight that cupid's bow which is probably going to get drawn over let's face it but hey it looks cute so we're doing it bit more here just in case I missed anything and blend here is the part where I would go back and line my waterline just here just because I find that your eye makeup just stands out just that little bit more once you've lined your bottom lashes So now I've overdrawn my lips with my favourite liner, it's called Pompous, I absolutely love this shade. I'm now going to take the Splash Liquid Lipstick in the colour Stately, it's a beautiful plum, and I'm going to just apply that all over. Next I'm going to take the Splash Liquid Lipstick in Stella, which is a beautiful nude, and I'm going to just use our lip brush to apply this as I'm gonna just pop it just in the middle of my lips and blend it out into a nice ombre.
Well, there you have it. That is my showgirl realness transformation. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that you found some things helpful and I hope that you like the products that you saw me using. If you see something and you're like, you know what girl, I just gotta have it. Then make sure that you go into my website, beautybyblaze.co.uk, click on unique products and the whole range is all there for you. Girl, you don't wanna miss it. Until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.